It's easy to find a teacher to tell you what you want. And you gotta ask yourself, am I just trying to find someone to tell me what I want to hear, or do I really want truth, even if that truth leads me away from my own desires? Questions about sex, sexuality, and gender, these have become the most pressing ethical questions facing the church today. And our youth especially, they're swimming in the deep end of these topics. It's said that the more religious a family is, the less likely they are to talk about sex in the home. And so now you have these young people who all they know about sex is what they should not do, but they don't know what a relationship is. A lot of the questions are, where is the line? How far can I go? Is it worth it to cross it? I think we sugarcoat a lot of the times, like celibacy or purity, that we say like, oh, it's easy, just put on this ring and you'll be fine. And, you know, being a virgin rocks. And it's like, no, sometimes these things suck. And like, there are gonna be moments when you're feeling overwhelmingly lonely or when you're feeling like you're never gonna have anyone in your life. And it's like, you need to know that those moments are gonna come or else when they do, you'll be like, well, why did I, give these things up. This isn't fun. This isn't where I want it to be. Sadly, so many people's lives, Christians included, are marked by shame. And this is because many of us live with scars from our sexual brokenness. I really felt like I could not tell a friend, a family member, even a youth pastor. It was just nothing. I just had to figure this out. And the first step is honestly almost always being brave enough to tell someone else and to get that accountability. If someone had done that with me when I was 15, maybe my story would be different. You know, I'm tired of hearing what my mom thinks about my gender or what this group over here thinks about my gender. What does God think about me? The truest and fullness sense of what it means to be me happens the closer I get to Christ, not the closer I get to my inclinations. We continue to see how it plays out when we are the masters of ourselves. It never leads to life. It consistently leads to death. We need a comprehensive sex education model that actually invites adolescents to understand their bodies so that they can actually grapple with what it means to honor God with their choices. We are absolutely committed to following what the Bible says about sex, sexuality, and gender. And we're also committed to following what the Bible says about grace and forgiveness. Regardless of whether you identify as male, female, trans, non-binary, or anything else, we need to make sure that our ultimate identity is in Jesus. Don't let your past mistakes define you or your future. Every day is a new chance, a new opportunity to make a choice to follow Jesus and live your life with sexual integrity.